Wow, that sounds like some stock music that I would use. This is the Intellivision Lives collection for PlayStation 2. The same year, Atari released the Atari 2600 video game system. Mattel Electronics started development on its own video game system, Intellivision. Which packs more than 60 games, packaging shots, and information about the Intellivision. But don't just buy this for those reasons. Buy it for this song. Move over Thompson Twins, it's the Intellivision song. I'm impressed with this collection, you get a lot of excellent games, it's well made, easy to navigate menus that are nice and cheesy, just like everything else in here, but what else would you want for the Intellivision Lives collection? I recently bought an Intellivision for about 30-35 bucks, which came with a stack of games, about 30 games. In their packaging with manuals and the joystick overlays, the Intellivision doesn't work very well, so this is a nice option for those of you that would like to actually check out some Intellivision games without going through the hassle of actually buying an Intellivision and working with 30-year-old electronics because the game console was released in 1980 and competed against the Atari 2600 and eventually the ColecoVision, Atari 5200, and Mighty Vectrex. Like most of those game consoles, the Intellivision did not have a long life, but more than 120 games were released for the Intellivision, and they're very easy to find today. You get more than 60 of them here all at once, emulated nicely for your PlayStation 2. One of the features that I like is when you hit the select button on your PlayStation controller, it pulls up a little screenshot of the Intellivision controller, where you can navigate the keypad and overlay as if you were playing on a real Intellivision. Some of the games like B-17 Bomber even replicate the Intellivoice add-on for the Intellivision, which synthesized real human speech. If Magic Carousel is not the greatest game ever made, I don't know what is. Thanks to this game, I can now count to nine. Yeah, this collection even comes with some unreleased games and a demo cartridge. Wouldn't this song be more appropriate for a Magnavox Odyssey demo cartridge? Look, if you like old school games, the question here is not whether or not you should buy the Intellivision Lives Collection, it's how fast can you buy the Intellivision Lives Game Collection. I'm not as familiar with the Intellivision as I am with some other older game consoles. Two of my favorite games on this collection are Shark, Shark, and the amazing Night Stalker. Giraffe, deer, what's the difference? One's just taller than the other. Well, you'll find many games for the Intellivision on other game consoles, like uh, Lock and Chase, for instance. Frequently, you'll find the Intellivision versions are better. Certainly, the graphics are more advanced than the Atari 2600. Now, Lock and Chase is not on this collection, but there's many games on here that are exclusive to Intellivision. Like Shark Shark and this one here, Night Stalker, which is like a Halloween themed version of Berserk. That box looks familiar because I have it. Yeah, I'll probably get another Intellivision that works better one of these days, but you know, when I go out for auctions, I typically look for ones that come with games and packaging, because I like the packaging for the website, ClassicGameRoom.com.
If you're short on space and you're not fully committed to really investing in 30-year-old antique electronics and a stack of game cartridges, these collections that pack numerous old-school games onto one disc are awesome, like the Atari 2600 collection, the Sega Genesis collection, and the Intellivision Lives collection. Purists may balk at them, but if you did not have the console originally and you just want to check out the games, they're a terrific place to start. And this one is extremely well made, published by Crave. Many of the games on here are two player as well, so you can have some friends over and relive the Intellivision days. I dig it a lot, the Intellivision Lives collection. And be careful when playing Magic Carousel, because the game is highly, highly addictive, and you might actually learn something. I now know the difference between a swan and a tiger. Fuck, I missed it again. These kids' games are not easy. Oh, back to the carousel. 